A Conservative mayor, as well as other leading figures across the country, have criticised the government, suggesting that mass testing should have been delivered sooner. We asked the public what they think and if it would have been feasible. I do think there should be mass testing, but I think hindsight's a, hindsight's a great thing. We didn't know what the pandemic was, was going to spread so much, um, and it would have been good to get everybody tested, but at least now they're doing that, so that's good. Yeah, I, th I think it would have been a good idea to have mass testing, um, just purely for the reason that uh, um, we needed it, basically. <laughs> uh, well, it, again, again, inside, hindsight, um, mass testing would have been a good thing, but if you don't know the spread of the virus and how fast it came through, um, it's very hard to judge it. And um, with the, um, the mass testing would have been a great thing, but as we're going now, at least at the moment, uh, things are looking better than they were. So the, uh, the, the R's uh, bottomed out. So if we can keep it that way for the moment, uh, it's good for the future. I think there should have been mass testing for everyone at the start of the pandemic. And I think that would have been a really useful tool in controlling it. Um, however, I think the reality is that, it, that getting capacity up to the levels required that quickly um, it's hugely challenging and probably wasn't possible at short notice. We didn't have the resources because we stopped that the sort of manufacturing base went down over the years where other countries were manufacturing. So we had to wait for it to be manufactured abroad to bring it into this country. Although some firms have adapted to manufacture masks and uh, what they call the gowns for the nurses. So that, but we need to keep that element there all the time as a, as a backup for if something happens again. 